What is going on guys, Sir Liz here, the YouTuber to invest, to rest, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys here how to withdraw your Shiba Inu coin to your bank, okay? Basically, how to cash out and withdraw your Shiba Inu coin to your bank. And I'm going to be showing you guys here multiple ways on how to do this, and this is very important, especially if you guys own this coin, and maybe one day it goes high and you earn a lot of money on it and you want to cash out on a certain percentage, right? I'm going to show you guys here how to do it, but not just how to do it, I'm going to show you multiple ways and how to save money how to save money on hidden fees so i'm gonna go through in detail and depth how to basically send your shiba in coin transform it into dollars and send it to your bank okay and saving you guys on hidden fees as well so before we even get started i'm pretty sure you guys got shiba in coin on some exchange like me i have it on kucoin and the problem is with a lot of these exchanges like kucoin gate io uh, trust wallet which is a wallet it's not an exchange but a lot of these places where you keep your shiba Inu coin they don't have a connection to your bank, right? They don't have the ACH. They don't have any connection to your bank. What you would have to do is basically transfer it from that exchange or that wallet to an exchange that has connection to your bank, that has the ACH transfer and all that. So you can basically send the money to your bank. So the key thing to ask yourself is which exchange out there that supports the Shiba Inu coin and also supports the bank ACH transfer so you can transfer whatever crypto they cash out to your bank Okay, which one that is supports you in coin has the lowest fee so right here I'm on coin gecko and it tells you which exchanges support the Yeshiba in coin and Binance is one of them now binance.us does not support Shiba in coin as of right now But Binance does and if you live outside of us I definitely recommend Binance because Binance has amazing fees when you sell it on there the fees are really really low now, if you live in the US or actually anywhere, I definitely recommend crypto.com. Okay, and we're gonna be comparing them. We're gonna be comparing crypto.com and we're also going to be comparing Coinbase Pro. Why? Because Coinbase Pro is going to have Shiba Inu coin in a couple of days, if not already, if you're watching this video. We're gonna be comparing the fees. So the reason why I prefer crypto.com over Coinbase Pro is is because the fees are better. Okay, if you go right here on Coinbase Pro, the fees, when you sell your Shiba Inu coin, if it's less than 10K, you're gonna pay 0.5%. So depending on how much you have, that could be a huge amount of fees right there, okay? Obviously, if you cash out more, it's gonna be less fees, but if you just have less than 10K, it's gonna be 0.5. Now, compared to uh, crypto.com, when you sell it on there after you basically send it, I'm gonna show you guys all the details how to do this. When we go right here to crypto.com, okay, it's 0.36 if it's less than 25k. So 0.3 versus 0.5 is a lot better, right? And you're gonna save a lot of money depending on how much of Shiba Inu coin that you want to cash out. All right, guys. So now that you know which exchange you want to send your Shiba Inu coin to cash out and withdraw it to your bank. Again, like I said, in my opinion, as of right now, Crypto.com is probably the best one. But in the future, it might be a different one that supports Shiba Inu coin, right? But the main thing is to do your research, find out which one has number one ACH transfer to your bank that you can connect to a bank. Number two supports Shiba Inu coin, obviously. And number three has the lowest fees, the lowest selling fees. And as of right now, crypto.com is the best in the US. And out of the US, Binance is the best one, which has literally, I think, a 0.1, which is pretty crazy. And I'm gonna show you guys here how to send it there and how to cash it out and another hidden fee. This is another very important hidden fee. So definitely stay tuned to find out this hidden fee and how to overcome it. So I'm gonna open here the app that I have my Shiba Inu coin in, okay, which is KuCoin. Now to you, it might be Gate.io or it might be Trust Wallet or whatever it is. Now I'm gonna show you guys here another hidden fee and also how to transfer it, okay? So the next hidden fee, guys, that's very important and can save you a lot of money if you pay attention to this is the withdrawal fees. Because whatever exchange you guys has, like KuCoin, Gate.io, has withdrawal fees. And they're different for different coins, okay? For Shiba Inu coin, it's different from Shiba Inu coin to Bitcoin or XRP or XLM. And I'm going to show you guys here how to save a lot of money by withdrawing it to that exchange. So I'm right here on KuCoin, and this might be different from your Gate.io or Trust Wallet. Um, so definitely do research on the one that you have. So right here, I have the Shiba Inu coin. So what you want to do is you want to click on your Shiba Inu coin. Okay, wherever it's at, click on it right here. And after you click on it, you want to click on the withdraw button. It should be somewhere uh, around where you click on it. Now after you click on withdraw, guys, depending on your exchange, it will tell you the fee. 
that you will have to pay for transferring your Shiba Inu coin to any other place. The fee on KuCoin, as of KuCoin, is this right here, which I don't even know how much is like 20000 Shiba Inu coin, which is a lot, right? It, I don't want to pay that fee. And there's also a minimum to withdraw. As you guys can see right here, the minimum right here, I don't even have that much. It's like 6 million or something like that, Shiba Inu coin. So you're probably asking right now, how do I overcome this hidden fee, Sir Lewis? How, what, what do I do to overcome this hidden fee? And of course, I'm not a financial advisor or anything. This is only for entertainment purposes, only an educational purpose. But what I would do if I was going to cash out my Shiba Inu coin and send it to another exchange to cash it out, is I would basically sell that amount of Shiba Inu coin for these two specific cryptos that I did a lot of research on and I found out to have the least withdrawal fees, okay? And it transfers super fast. Literally in minutes, you're gonna transfer it compared to some other cryptos out there that take a while to transfer. And these two very important cryptos, okay, is XRP and XLM. And I'm gonna tell you why I would basically sell my Shiba Inu and basically use that money to buy XRP and XLM. Now, obviously, you want to do this when the market is not volatile, right? And these two coins are actually very, very volatile. XRP and especially XLM is very volatile. So you want to do this quickly, obviously, right? You might even get lucky and you might even make more money depending if it goes up, right? And let me just show you here the fee for transferring any amount of XRP on KuCoin at least. And um, it's not just KuCoin, it's all platforms. The fee is super, super low for these two coins. Right here, the fee is 0.1 XRP, which is as of right now is literally like 30 cents, 50 cents around there compared to the fee of transferring Shiba Inu. So as you guys can see, and this is not just KuCoin, you could check on whichever app that you have for XRP and XLM. The fee is super low. Okay, super, super low. And the minimum is also low right here is 20 XRP. So right here, I'm on XLM. We're gonna click on withdraw. And look at this, guys. This is even lower than XRP. The fee is 0.01 XLM. That's literally in the sense, guys. So just understand that, you know, maybe you're different. Maybe you just want to send the Shiba right away. Maybe you don't want to risk buying the XRP or XLM, but me, I would do this, okay? I would basically sell that Shiba on the exchange in exchange for XLM and XRP and then send uh, that, the XLM and XRP, to the exchange that you chose, which is crypto.com for me. All right, so next step is whether you're sending the Shiba or you want to save on the fees and you want to save a lot of money and you basically have XLM and XRP, how are you going to send this to the exchange, a new exchange? So let me just show you guys here. It's very simple. You're just going to go to your Shiba, your XLM or XRP, whichever one, it works for both. You're going to click on withdraw. Okay, after you click withdraw, you guys are going to see this. It's going to be asking for a wallet address because it needs an address uh, for you to send it to. Okay, you're going to need the address from the exchange that you're sending it to. So what you do is you go to that exchange, like I said, that you picked. For me, it's crypto.com. And on the exchange, what you want to do is you want to find the coin that you're sending that to, whether it's XLM, XRP, or Shiba, okay? You click on it. So I'm gonna click right here on the XLM. And then what you wanna do is you wanna click transfer. And then all you wanna do is you wanna click deposit and it will show your address. And this is the address that you're gonna send whatever coin that you want to, to that exchange, okay? So click deposit, it's gonna show your address. And what you have to do is copy and paste. Don't write it down and then try to type it. Just copy and paste it in your phone or in your computer. This is the best way, okay? Copy and paste it. Then you're gonna go back to your account and you're gonna basically paste that address for whatever coin it is. Again, like I did XLM, it would be XLM. Okay, you don't wanna send Shiba to XLM or XRP to Shiba because then you're gonna lose your money. You wanna send it to the same coin. And then you basically just paste it right here. It already has the name. Click. It's gonna put the address right there. And then right here, you want to put the amount of the coin that you want to send it to. It could be max or whatever. And then all you got to do is press confirm. Okay. And depending on the coin, again, like I said, XLM and XRP should be in there within minutes. It's going to transfer to the exchange. All right. Awesome. So you got it to the exchange. Congratulations. So next step is you want to basically sell that coin for US dollar. Okay, because again, like I said, you want to withdraw it, right? All right, so what you do is you go to that coin. Okay, we're going to use XLM as an example again, Stellar. 
and you're basically going to sell it. You're going to sell your XLM. Okay. You're going to sell it for fiat. As you guys can see right here, it, it has to be USD. Okay. And then after you sell it, you're going to have the USD. It should show the USD in your main menu. Okay. It should show, it should show the US dollar in your main menu. It should show that you got, um, US dollar right there, USD. So awesome. You just sold it. Okay. You just sold it for USD. Now you want to transfer it to your bank and to transfer it to your bank on the exchange, you should have it connected to your bank. So to connect it to your bank, all you gotta do is go right here to the main menu, click on Fiat wallet. And then you want to click on USD. You want to click on transfer and then withdraw. And then it should allow you to connect your bank ACH. Make sure you choose ACH because it's a uh, fee -less. Okay. And they don't take any fees doing it that way, but it's very simple. It's different for every exchange. So it might not be the same as crypto.com, but you basically just do it that way, connect it to your bank. And then that's how you send it. Then you basically just send the money to your bank and that's it guys. That is how you do it as of right now. I know it's tedious. I know it's a lot of steps, but as of right now, that's how you basically withdraw your, your money from the Shiba to your bank. And I showed you guys here how to do it and showed you the two biggest hidden fees, which again is the withdrawal fees, right? And also the selling fee. These are the two biggest fees that you have to take note of because you can save a lot of money knowing how to overcome these two fees. And I showed you guys in this video. So, so I hope to help you guys out. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, leave a like comment below. If you guys got any questions, I'm always responding. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys for sticking by and watching my videos. If you want to support me, check out my Patreon. If you want to join a free public crypto group, join us on Facebook. I have a public crypto group on Facebook that you guys can comment, give your opinions, you know, basically talk about crypto all the time. So thank you guys again. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.